Welcome to the Chicago Botanic Garden. My name is Boyce Tankersley, Director of Living Plant Documentation. What I want to do is show you some of the highlights of the greenhouses where we feature plants from around the world that bloom in January, February, and March. And then we'll step outside, enjoy some of the snowflakes, and, and look at some of the highlights of the garden in winter. We're here in the semi-tropical greenhouse at the Chicago Botanic Garden. These, this area features plants that take a little bit of cold weather, but not as cold as we traditionally get here in the winter. To my left is a wonderful plant we've been growing for three or four years now, just come into flower, a native of Australia called the Happy Wanderer. Another favorite plant of semi-tropical climates is this beautiful Bougainvillea Barbara Karst. A native of Brazil, it's called a paper flower. As the flowers mature, they uh, dry up and literally become like paper flowers. Another exciting feature of the Chicago Botanic Garden is this carnivorous uh, plant bog that we have in the uh, subtropical greenhouse. Scientists have just recently discovered that in addition to the insects that is captured in the cups here on the top of these pitcher plants, their roots also eat worms that are traveling through the soil and attacking the plants. So right here we have a classic example of the sundews. It's snowing outside, but when the, the sunlight's out, those little water droplets are actually um, like liquid glue, and the insects are attracted to them because they look like water. But when the insect lands, they're stuck there, the plant devours them. Uh, right next to them we have these classic uh, uh, pitcher plants. These are actually native to North America. The insects crawl down inside the cup. Again, they're looking for a drink of water, a little bit of nectar. And inside the cup there are hairs that keep them from crawling back out again. We're inside the tropical greenhouse here at the Chicago Botanic Garden. I'm standing underneath Cycus circinalis. Within our greenhouses, this is one of the oldest specimens. A wonderful plant, used as a food source in many islands in Melanesia, Polynesia. Populations that use the seeds of this plant as a food source have been found to be more likely to uh, come down with early stage Alzheimer's than other populations scattered around the world. This is of great interest to scientists that are trying to understand the causes, the triggers for Alzheimer's. So we end our tour of the Chicago Botanic Garden greenhouses in the air greenhouse. Where featured we have our magnificent aloe collection. These are plants native to southern Africa, Madagascar, the island of Madagascar. Just now coming into flower, they're absolutely spectacular. So even in Chicago, we have these warm spells. They call it the January thaw. When that happens, there are plants that are adapted to take advantage of that situation. So here we've got a snowdrop, named because they come up right when the snow's still on the ground. Here it is, right underneath this magnolia, tucked away in full bloom. You notice the petals are open wide. That's dispersing a honey-like scent to attract insects. A tough little plant native to the really high, high mountains in Europe where the growing season is so short that as soon as the temperatures get anywhere near the freezing mark, it starts to come into flower and, uh, and growth.